I, so my project, I was trying to make a game uh, about a first person dungeon crawler, which for the most part works. You can travel around to different squares. But uh, we were talking last class how I was having an issue with when you go to a different uh, tile, you don't turn. So you're kind of sidestepping everywhere. Instead of hitting right, you don't turn right. Good. Uh, you're so, always facing north. Yeah, you can turn east and then go back to this tile. But you don't change that direction. You would have to do it manually. Uh, yeah. So the so what is it exactly that you're showing? So all these are images, and they're based on they're on a grid. So all the rows all are labeled by a letter, and all the columns are labeled by a number. So to see it better, how big is your grid? Uh, five by five. So without the images and just seeing, I guess I could kind of make it so you can see the move. This does the same thing. So this is this, right? Yeah. A1 and B5. Yeah. Okay. And so then wherever you are. So I'm in A1 now, uh -huh. and then I can go down, and now I'm in B1. And then right, B2, and I could turn, go east, south, west. And so when you do that, you create that value B3N. Yep. And then you transclude whatever B3N is. Yeah. And that's what we see. So you don't actually you don't actually navigate to that table. This is right. That you're, that was a difference, I think. Actually I don't even do that. I forgot. I had an issue with doing that. Um I have to transclude all the fields for uh -huh. each tiddler yeah. because if I just try to transclude the tiddler itself, the it transcludes a text field, so it's yeah, empty. Exactly. So these are all the fields that needed to be transcluded. So to generate, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's you could have are those all the fields? Oh uh, yes. So like a lot of them, like this one, it doesn't have a back arrow because I will, there's a wall there. Right. So Okay. It, it it's just blank. I can get to one of them probably. Yeah. And you can see all the fields here. And then the trick that we came up with was look at the value of back arrows here. Is the name of the tiddler that's transcluded. So if you transcode it in the field, and you transcode that field, you get that image. And I, that was the. So like this. One. I don't really think that's necessary, and I don't think that's a skill that it works, right? Because um, you know, I don't think you want to have fields out here that have maybe traces. Mm -hmm. You should you should say this is the value, and I want to transcode what's in that picture here. That yeah. And then those images themselves are SVG. Yep. So I could find one of them. And SVG is very So then you transclude the values of those, I think? Yep. So here's all the actual SVG being transcluded. Because I don't have the SVG in there, it doesn't show up, but I can put it in. So this is a corner where you're just turning left. So Thank you.
I don't find out where I was on it. Uh, it was difficult, but you know, busy work I had to do. This, um, because this is all just me plugging it in. Yeah. Parker, you did SVG stuff too, right? Are you ready to 